This is a simple practice of exponential and logarithmic operations. We are given an equation set to solve for x and y. The first thing you might notice is that 16 is the square of 4 and 25 is the square of 5. If we treat 4 raised to the power of x and 5 raised to the power of y as the unknowns, we can rewrite the first equation in such a way. Of course, the powers inside and outside of the parentheses can be swapped. So you might recognize this form. We are basically taking the difference between two squares. So the left-hand side can be factorized into the product of the difference and sum. And we already know what the difference is from the second equation. By dividing both sides of the equation by 3, we get 4 raised to the power of x plus 5 raised to the power of y equals 4. So the two equations to solve appear more straightforward now. We can start with adding them up to eliminate 5 to the power of y. This will give 2 times 4 raised to the power of x equals 7. And because 4 raised to the power of x can be written as 2 square raised to the power of x, this is the same as 2 raised to the power of 2x plus 1 equals 7. Now we can do some logarithmic operations. We can take the log of any base on both sides of the equation. What this does is you will shift the 2x plus 1 from the power position. And the reason we can use log of any base is because of this transformation. Where dividing two log functions of the same base is equal to taking the log of the numerator with the denominator as the base. So we have solved for x. Following the same idea, we can solve for y by first performing subtraction of the two equations. And then after dividing 2 on both sides, we take the log of some base on both sides of the equation. By the same rule, the log base does not matter, and y will be equal to log of 1 over 2 with a base of 5.